Hi everybody, look what I got today. Thank you, buddy. It was so good to see you. Um, so I don't have a whole lot for you today. This is our video for Thursday. Um, and I believe that is what, what day is that? Oh, that's the 14th. Okay. So, um, we don't even have any blending to do today. What? I do want to mention the volcanoes. So I figured out I am going to do them Monday at two o'clock. I'm going to do a live video, but I will record it also so that if you aren't able to attend the live that you can do it. And if, um, if anybody would like to attempt to come into the school and do it with me, um, I can have a few kids in the classroom with me, not a lot. So um, email me, call me, whatever you're thinking, um, and we'll go from there. But I will do a live. And so I wanted to let you know there, there are, you can go ahead and open them. Um, and this, this is what you'll need. So this is the little book that comes with it. And the one that I want to try to do is this one, Carlos's experiment. So I want it to actually blow up, but you need a few things at home. So I wanted to just give you a heads up on that. You're going to need some baking soda, liquid dish soap, food coloring, if you want it to be funky and some vinegar and a place where you can make a mess. So sorry. Um, so that will be Monday at two o'clock and I will send a message out also just as a reminder. Okay. So that's that. And let's see. Okay. So we're working on long A it's review. So all you have today is this worksheet page 161, 162. Okay. Practice draw a line to match the picture to the correct word, write the word beside the picture. Okay. So I'm going to sound out my word, find the picture that matches, and then write it nice and neat on the dotted line. And then on the back, write the correct word to complete each sentence. Same thing. So you got to sound out your words, cross them out when you're done, write it nice and neat. That is all for the reading part, except I want you to either finish America Is, if you haven't already. I know it was a long one, wasn't it? Um, and then I want you to look at the questions at the end of the story on page 309 the um, look closer questions i want you to complete those so since we don't have a whole lot this shouldn't be too hard to do right kiddos and parents if you're having a hard time with them not wanting to do homework and whatnot i'd say start taking away some goodies all right or let me know i can always set up tutoring for you too we'll get miss higgins involved to help all right so that is it for reading. What? Three minutes in, we're done with reading. Or at least I am. You have worksheets. So, all right. Okay. And for math, we're going to look at page 588 in your math books. Instead of picture graphs, we're going to move on to bar graphs. So, let me get this ready. Maybe. Okay, so let's look up here, and you're on page 588. And in a bar graph, each bar shows information. You can compare the lengths of the bars. So, and then it wants us to make up a title for our bar graph, okay? So let's find some important information on our bar graph first. I want you to find the bold letters, the big black bold letters and words that jump out at you. So I see some right here, and I see some right here, okay? Art tools. So this is telling us what we're comparing and then this down here says number of children. This tells us how many of each thing we're comparing. Notice that each one of the things has their own color, their own bar of a color. Bar graph, silly. All right, so markers has red, paint brushes, blue, and crayons, yellow. Okay, all right, we're going to look and compare. Oh, what should our title be of our bar graph? What do you think? I'm gonna go with art fun. I don't know, art fun. Okay, so let's look at number one. How many children chose, and it's got a picture of a what? Paintbrush. So I'm gonna go up here to paintbrushes and I'm gonna follow it all the way until the blue stops. Oh, and I see it stops and then go down. What do you see? What number? 
six. I see a number six. So that's how many kids or children chose paintbrushes. So I'm going to put a six right there. Okay. Look at number two. How many children chose crayons? Got a picture of a crayon. So let's go up to crayons. Follow it over. Where does the yellow stop? And then go down. What number is there? Two. All right. So let's put a number two. Look at number three. How many more children chose paintbrushes than crayons? Okay, so we're gonna have to compare our bars. So let's find our paintbrush and crayons right below it. So we have blue and yellow, but I see a bunch of children who didn't choose crayons and they did choose paintbrushes. How many do you see? Let's compare. There's blue with no yellow. So there's one, two, three, four, four, four more kids chose paintbrushes than crayons. So you're gonna write your four over there. Okay, look at number four. Which art tool did the fewest children choose? Circle it. Fewest, what does fewest mean? Do you remember? Fewest means the least, the least amount. So the, the smallest number. So look up here, which art tool did the fewest kids choose? Which one has the smallest number? And let's get my, oh, whoops, silly me. Okay, so let's put our four back there. Okay, which one has the lowest number? Markers, five, paintbrushes, six, crayons, two. Is two the lowest number? So I'm gonna go and circle crayons. Look at number five. Which art tool did the most children choose? So what's the highest number? Which one has the highest number of kids that chose that one? So we know markers are five, paintbrush six, ooh, that might be right, crayons two. Which number is the biggest? Six. So I'm gonna circle paintbrushes, all right? And that, my friends, is the page we do together. This is your next page is 589. That's all I want you guys to do. Oh, I got a tickle in my nose. That's all I want you guys to do for homework. And I want you to get on Prodigy. Okay. I will add some bar graphs to Prodigy. And so it won't just be about picture graphs too. So it will give you some extra practice and you can always do the 10.3 birds if you choose to. Okay. So complete this one by yourselves. Um, Look at your graph over here. It's going in a different direction. Notice our bars are going a different direction. They're going up and down. But still look for your bold words. So we have number of children, kinds of vehicles, and we have car, truck, dump truck. Follow it up. How many cars? Two. How many trucks? Five. And dump truck? Six. Okay, so read your questions, answer them, and jump on some Prodigy, and you've got this, okay? And I'll see you Monday at office hours or at noon or 12.30. And hopefully I see lots of you for our live volcano explosion, okay? Bye, guys.